Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I can hear myself twice. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's, I haven't done many rugby league streams for a long time. Uh, so it's good to be back watching this as it is Easter weekend. Uh, it is Friday. It's a good Friday. Um, it means that we've got rugby at an early kickoff, which is great. It means I've got, hopefully my Aussies are still awake as it's still about 9.19 currently in Sydney. Um, so it's awesome to have people here who will join me watching the Hull Derby. Now, obviously, I'm going for Kingston Rovers. Um, I need my cap, really, don't I? No, I'm not. Yeah, um, I do have a, a Hull KR cap. There's my signed that way. Hull KR ball. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Jeff. Hello, mate. Uh, so we're, we've got about 10 minutes to kick off. Hopefully more people will join. But hopefully, if, especially if we've got Aussies in here, um, you guys are more used to, obviously, the NRL. Um, I, I find, I just find Super League is a little bit more interesting, actually, because there's variety of sizes, variety of speed. Whereas in NRL, it's very much, they're all the same. Yeah, the big strong people, and and um, I think it's very samey same if that makes sense. But awesome to have people coming in. Uh, hi Nugget and Brooks, awesome to have everyone. Um, hopefully, as the game gets started, more people will come and join for a bit of rugby league. Hull KR for the win. They keep showing highlights. Um, I think I'm just doing this game. Hi Georgia. Um, I think I'm just doing this game. I don't think I'm doing the, the Wigan versus Saints game because I have got a lot on today to try and get sorted. Um, so it'll probably just be the Hull Derby, I think. Oh, God, they're showing the highlights of um, when old matey boy punched the other guy. When old flower punched the other guy. Oh, that's not nice to see. Uh, it's currently showing on Sky Sports Arena and it is showing in my Discord server. I've got it in there. So if you don't have access, you're welcome to watch along in there. Um, the Discord link is down below. Why are they not doing any pre-match stuff? They're only showing highlights, but... Surely they should be talking about the whole derby. It's definitely the right channel. Definitely the right channel. Weird. Uh, be awesome to know where are people from? Uh, well, I know Jeff, Nugget and Brooks, Australia. Where are people from? Please do let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, because you've got to subscribe to join in with the conversation. Uh, Georgia, well, you've obviously got there in 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 um, in rugby league. You've got Hull FC and you've got Hull Kingston Rovers, and so what you have is you have two teams from Hull playing in the same competition that very much divides the fans. You very much even got, um, yeah, I think Hull might win unless it's a draw. Um, you very much have families divided. It, it's, you know, you'll get situations where the wife and child is Hull KR and the other wife and child, at uh, the hu other husband and wife is whatever. It's very divided, very much like Manchester United and Manchester City. You get two, ta uh, two teams in one city um, and that's what this is, Hull KR versus Hull FC. Um, it it creates an exciting atmosphere. Think of Adelaide Crows and Port Adelaide, you know. Oh, nice, Nugget and Brooks. Mm. The atmosphere, I watched this same game last year on Good Friday. 
and the atmosphere was incredible. The atmosphere was really, really, really good. Um, so expect a fantastic atmosphere again. That's all I would say. <laughs> Um, because you will get a really, really fun game to watch. Hopefully, anyway. If it's a disappointment, I'm going to be gutted. <laughs> I think last year's... Um, last year, I watched both the Hull KR, dub, Hull KR versus Hull FC, and then they obviously show Wigan versus Saints afterwards, and I watched both, thinking, right, both are going to be absolutely quality games. And they were rubbish. <laughs> so I really hope that's not going to be the case again today. Oh, Southampton versus Man City tomorrow. We're going to probably get destroyed on our fight to stay up. Open this game. What, I want all the pre match stuff. It's five minutes to kick off. Here we go. Here we go. I think they're finally going to start talking about the game. But as a team, um, Hull KR doing well this season. Uh, we are doing well. Last year was rubbish. Last year was really, really poor, but this year it's looking like we're um, competing. Let's get the sound up a little bit. You can expect a febrile atmosphere on what is always a special day in the rugby league calendar. You won't miss a minute. It is. Um, Nanya, I did have a bet. I did have a bet, Nanya, on Saints to stay up. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. I am. I'm a little bit worried. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm a little bit worried. Incredibly hard to rectify them. That's interesting, and it's still juttering. Um, they've just, <laughs> I don't know if anyone heard that, they've just said that they are late on air because of technical issues. Um, so if you look at the table at the moment, Hull Cow are currently in fifth. We are really, really doing well. Uh, Hull FC are down in 11th out of 12th, uh, so they are not doing so well. On paper, this is a Hull KR game, uh, and we really need to keep the wins up to get into the finals. Uh, this year. Thanks. Thanks, Nanya. Thanks for the positivity. Uh, Georgia says, is it 50-50 amongst the folks of Hull or is there a preference? So I would say it's 50-50. Obviously, I'm not from Hull. I'm from right down south. Um, I've just... So the reason why I support Hull KR is this time last year, um, I watched the Hull KR versus... Hull FC game and I've got no rugby league team and a guy from Hull KR sent me a cap and the sign ball and, and things so I thought well right that's my team um, so I've been following Hull KR in the background keeping an eye on the results and um, yeah thoroughly enjoying actually because it's a good game it is a good fun game uh, but yeah I don't really know I can't George I can't give you a proper answer to that but I would suggest it is a sort of a 50-50 thing. But look, you get full stadiums. You, you certainly get fuller stadiums than you are in Rugby Union at the moment in this sort of fixture. Um, I bet the, I said the atmosphere is going to be incredible. Um, Nanya, I have said in regards to Saints, if we did go down, hopefully we'd come straight back up. So is it better... Is it better staying mid-table winning nothing every year? Or is it better going down and then up, down and up? At least you win the championship. As long as you can get back up. The championship is a tough, tough league. Um, a really, really tough league. The 
IPO. It, it, I, I've not seen a fixture, especially in rugby league, I've not seen a fixture that is as exciting, as, as atmospheric as this, as the whole derby. You say that last year's was rubbish. Last year's whole derby on Good Friday was rubbish. Like this stream to stop jolting. Uh, no problem, George. Georgia, where are you from? Are you one of my new Polish subscribers? Uh, it'd be awesome if I've got Polish people finally joining my streams. That'll be amazing. Uh, but I said, if you haven't got access to the game, go to the Discord server. Link in the description down below. Uh, and the game will be showing in there. It will be showing in there for everyone to be able to watch. Uh, not everyone will have access to this, especially because it's on Sky Sports, which is a paid service. Um, so it's showing there for everyone. I'm a nice guy, you see. Come on, you roots! How many mullets are we going to see today? That's the question. Oh, man. Georgia, don't be lurking, mate. Don't be lurking. you got to join in. You must join in. Yeah, uh, Nanya, that's, uh, that is a thing I notice with Rugby League. Um, the amount of times it, with with NRL that you'll get a a stadium that is a decent size and is just not filled and it's just not great. And I said I noticed that with rugby league down in Australia, um, and it's the same with with AFL. But I don't think AFL atmosphere is that amazing in terms of singing, chanting, having a good atmosphere. But with rugby league you do get more of a football style atmosphere. But if the stadium's half empty or half full, it's not quite the same, is it? Right. Players are coming out. For some reason, all the ma all the, all the old um, mascots have got balloons. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, that's what I've noticed, Nanya. And it's not great, is it? It's not good. Jack Smith, the referee, sponsored by Ron Seal. Okay, let's hope for an exciting game here. This should be a good one. As I said, if you haven't already, uh, there's 16, 17 people in here. Make sure you hit the like button down below. Um, Make sure you subscribe as well to so join in. Uh, if you haven't got access, go to Discord, watch it in there. Um, and yeah, join along. I want lots of chat in the com in the. Uh, I want lots of conversation in the chat box. For some reason, the the stream is a little jolty, um, which is a little bit annoying. But game on, game on, come on, Kingston Rovers. I said on paper this this should be a KR win, definitely. Hi, Mr. Curry. Enjoy the game. Millwall versus Luton. A lot of sport on this weekend. A lot of sport on this weekend, which is awesome, right? You could be watching sport all the time. There's so much on. Yeah, and a really confident and assured first uh, set in possession for Hulk. 
So. You can hear the atmosphere already, look. All the singing already. Keep them back, keep them back, press high. That's what I want to see. I want to see KR pressing high. Really be physical, really pressing high. Make it difficult for, for Hull. Whoa! Who's Steve? Catherine had in it. Hi, Steve. Who's Steve? I don't even know who Steve is. Uh, from Saudi Arabia back to Hull on the 11th. Hull FC. Oh, I don't know who Steve is, but. Uh, fair enough. Oh, Catherine's over in Saudi. Nice. I wouldn't be supporting Everton, though, if I were you, Mr. Curry. But Swan's a good choice. <laughs> I just want to see how uh, how the AFL's done today. Carton beat Carton won. So Hull KR coming from deep. George King playing the ball. Yeah, manhandled, absolutely manhandled by Hull FC. Hull FC certainly seemed to be going in um, more than. One on one, more than two on one. They were getting four, bo uh, four bodies around him then. Um, Georgia, I've got a cheeky question out of pure curiosity. How big is rugby in the UK? I know what's a big. I know that's a big question, but just for the feel, what's the percentage of rugby versus football fans? It depends what you mean, Georgia. Are you talking about rugby union or rugby league? Uh, I would say rugby union is the biggest sport uh, compared to rugby league. Football is by far the biggest. If you're looking at football versus football versus rugby union and league, football's probably at about 80, 90 percent. I would say that that might be a high estimation, um, but union is probably union. Oh, it's hard to say. But with things like the Six Nations and stuff, I think I think Union is 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 bigger than rugby league. But there's very much the divide, the north south divide. You know, most rugby union teams, most are down south, whether it's Bath, Bristol, um, London Irish, Harlequins. Um, I know you've got Sale up in Manchester, for example, but the majority is is south. Whereas league is obviously pretty much all in the north. Um, but I think I would probably say rugby union just just tips it to be honest. But I can't be quoted on any of that. Not my call. Doing well. I, I whole care of pressing high. They are pressing nice and high at the moment. I really can't see Hull FC winning this one, to be honest. I think Hull KR should be too strong for them. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, I think so. But both, both, both league and union are massively overshadowed by football. Massively. How big is cricket in the UK? I think cricket is probably cricket is probably bigger, but it's more 
Cricket is one of those ones where less people possibly go and watch. Um, less people go and watch cricket, but they always sort of either have it on the radio or are looking at the scores. So it's hard to tell, really. Uh, hi, Gareth. I'm not sure if I'm watching the Wigan versus Saints game. I think I've got stuff to do later on. I can't be just watching rugby all, all, all day. I'll probably have it on the background of whatever I'm doing. But welcome to the stream if everyone's just joined. Uh, Hull FC are really, really pushed back in their own first 20 metres here. They're only just getting out. 3 tackles left and they are not even at halfway. Hulk Hulk are doing a good job at the moment. Uh you I cannot show you I can't show you the game on the stream. Uh you'll have to join the Discord server and you can watch in there because I can't show it on here. Otherwise the stream will get taken down. Mm. I think the problem is the length of cricket, right? The, the long form of cricket is people don't have the time necessarily to sit down and watch all day cricket. So it's one of those things where you either have it on the TV in the background, you just check up on the scores through the day. Um, but, you know, things like league, rug, league, union, football, etc. You know, it's a smaller amount of time and you sit down and watch it. Hi, Stinky Pinky. Maybe you should watch it anyway. You might enjoy it. Come on. Last tackle. Up and over. I don't think anyone's going to get it. Oh. It's still playing on. Still playing on. Yay! Easy. Oh, he's going to... He's going to the video assistant. Try on the field. Video ref, come on. You've got to give it to us. So, ball gone up. Hi, Mandy. Hello. Mm. Definitely goes backwards. The <clears throat> This is real kind of fine touches here. I think it's the... the, first angle the challenge. This is the one, yeah. It looks like... It looks like it was... So there. We keep through. Keep Kenny Dow that did it, touched it. I'm not sure. To the ground. And through to ground, please. Gotta be a try. Thank you. This is this has got to be a KR win. I'm I know it's early, but I'm saying it. Hull KR for the win. Get in there. It, on that on that kind of up and over then. Look, just fifth is it thirteen? I think it was thirteen. Fash had nothing. He was sort of didn't even attempt to get the ball. Very good, very good. That's how you start the game. Well done, Ryan. You certainly don't get silence. It, this is what I find quite funny. When in Union, when you get a conversion kick being taken, everyone expects you to be quiet. You don't quite get that in League. Come on, Coots. Come on, Cootie. 
to give Hokeyar the stop wanted here. Yes, in you go, 6 0. Nice, easy conversion. So 6 0, Kingston Rovers uh, within the 10 minutes. Let's the, let the scoring flow. It's going to be a red city, I reckon. Shall we sing a song for you? <laughs> See, this is what I this is what I love because I said I'm used to football songs and and singing and chanting and basically taking the piss out of the other team fans, and you get that in rugby league. It's so fun. You get that in you get the tribalism which creates an atmosphere in a game, and it's really really fun. I don't know what I did. I'm trying to think what I predicted. Good job, Sidey. Good job to have you here. So far, I am one out of one. I've done Hull KR by 12, but at this rate, it may be more. Um, I did Wigan by six as well for the next game. Mm. <laughs> that it's interesting because it's it's obviously stuttering and there's a message on the screen saying we apologize for the picture and sound quality audio quality is this game live for those that are in australia is this game showing live down under i assume it's not with the amount of people that I've got watching in the Discord server. Yeah, I think, as I said, I think it's an actual, audio, um, a, an audio and visual problem that they've got with the actual, um, the technology there. Oh! Oh! I don't think he was expecting a pass to him. Oh my God. Hi, Rymeister. Rymeister, you're doing well in the AFL tip in this this time around, mate. Uh, so it is on TV over there, or on on your your subscription service. Then, if you're watching it, so if you're watching it on KO or Fox or whatever, is it stuttering like it is on on Sky Sports? They have obviously noticed it. Penalty for Hull FC, they're taking the run. They're well, literally metres out, a couple of metres out at the moment. Okay, good. No, 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 he's not down, just stopped him before the line. Hull FC are on the verge here. they got three tackles left, metres out still, they almost got it over the line. Close them down, close them down. Hi, Goanna. Hello, mate. No. Just hold him. We're doing a good job of holding him off. One tackle left for Hull FC. Come on. Whoa! We got it back. Um, so, it, I, it, I don't think it works like that, Nunya. Um, it doesn't work like that. Basically, there's there'll be there'll be one company that is literally doing the stream, and all the other companies like the the, the actual the actual TV companies then pay for the rights to use that footage. Um, so it's not necessarily about Murdoch or anyone like that. It's um, the picture's fine. It's just a bit jolty. 
But there's one single strip, uh, one single video connection, and everyone is basically piggybacking. Oh, Dugu Mehmet. It's red and white over here, mate. It's red and white. Red and white army. Yeah, 31 people. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. It's okay timing for the Aussies at the moment, I think. Nice passing. One more, one more, one. Oh, a bit slow to be aware of his teammates there. Hey, KR should win. KR should win. On paper, for sure, we should win. Uh-oh. Take him down, take him down. Last tackle, KR ball. Defensive, defensively, KR are doing very well. Very well. F uh, Hull have got very, very close. Uh, very close to over the try line, but that last ditch tackling we've had. Yeah, right, mister. Yeah, 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 that's what's happening on mine. <laughs> Gareth says, true story. Before being in Super League, Hulk KR was semi-pro. One of the players was a practicing priest. He couldn't play at Easter, though. <laughs> Too busy, too busy. Oh. That, that is one ugly, ugly mullet that Fash has. That is grim. Like, really grim. Oh, oh! Oh! Go, 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 go! Yes! What a cock up! <laughs> what a cock up! Going back to the video, ref. That, what a try. What an absolute cock up. Here's the kick. Pause that there, so there's a player offside just to the right, and we'll also have players in front are off. We can run this through, please. Let's trap these players. He's on side, the one that stole it. Can we just go into the, the contact, please, there? Just close in on that. Go at full speed if we can, please. Let's just play that. He falls off the tackle there, so we can play on through to Granny, please. Yes, straight down the middle as well. Uh, KR stole it and scored a try. I oh, what are Hull FC doing? They're having a shocker. Yes! Straight down the middle for the kick as well. Nice. They are dominating at the moment. Absolutely dominating. He's going to be gutted. Trying to use his foot to stop the ball and just gave it to us. 
Yeah, Mark, Sky Sports is... It's not just Sky Sports, it's the actual just general stream. Straight down the middle. 12 nil. I think I've under under predicted it. I've predicted 12 nil. It might be more than that. As in 12 point difference. They have, as I said, they have acknowledged, they have acknowledged that their, the audio and, and visuals is buggered. I wouldn't say they've barely threatened. They've had one one attack where they almost got over the line. But KR have been brilliant. Yeah, uh, it just must be this the, the mainstream. They are struggling, aren't they? Hull are really, really struggling. I would be depressed if I was in that stadium and I was a Hull fan. Come on, Robbins. There's, there's still a notice to say we apologise for picture and sound quality. I wonder if I wonder if they really are even bothering to try and fix it. Twenty minutes and twenty seconds gone in the first half. Twelve nil to Kingston Rovers. We are basically camped for most of this game. We've been camped in the in the whole half. Go 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 go! Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, the ref's seen something. What was it? What did he give the decision for? I couldn't see. I was too excited about KR possibly scoring. That's how you need to take uh, take scrums. Just roll the ball in, get on with it. This is what Union needs to learn from Rugby League. Just get on with it. And away for for Hull. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, but I'll say this over and over again, Gareth. Just get on with it. You know, it does its job. You draw players in. You, it's just, you know, get on with it. So, Oh, see, they just can't break through. Yeah, <laughs> whole ball, uh, whole car ball. 
The Robins do celebrate. Hull just cannot get a break, can they? They cannot get a break. He dropped it, didn't he? Yeah, he dropped it. Um, Dugu? I think, do I pronounce it Dugu? Um, I predict... Well, from on my tipping competition, I, I predicted... I predicted KR to win by 12. Now I'm thinking it could be more. Um, for sure, it could be more here. More like the 18 mark, I think, if not more. Oh, what a run. What a run. Weaving in and out, the big man. Jesus! Oh, my God. McNamara just went flying. Just went flying. <laughs> oh, man. Absolutely meaty. Twenty-four minutes gone. You've got to love this rivalry, right? You've got to love this rivalry. All right, we're a bit wedged in. Open the play up. Open the play up. Going for the kick. Is anyone chat? Yeah, we got a couple chasing it. Yeah, Sutcliffe makes it easy. Oh, sit down. Sit down, Sutcliffe. Hull have got nothing at the mic. Look at this. Just physical dominance by KR. Mm, good play. So Hull have got two tackles left, just about, just about in the KR half. Still got it. He's gone for a tap and go with still two tackles remaining. Well, careful. Oh, careful. Oh, he had to look over his shoulder then. That was a little bit worrying almost. It's very it's, it is quite disappointing about the the stream quality, um, not just stream, but the actual quality on Sky Sports. Oh, that's high. That's high. That is. Uh oh. Uh oh. The the physios have got there quickly, but that was high. The problem is they don't get punished in the same way in league, do they? If that happens in Union, you get in deep shit. Drags him by his neck. Hi, Northern Coins. Um, drags him by his neck. But I said referees just don't punish in league. So there's no deterrent to stop it. Oh, I think it was more lazy. It was a it was a lazy tackle, more than clumsy. But let being lazy is is dangerous. So that's all they're given a penalty. It's lazy. It's, it's that's lazy. Oh, 
He knew that he got he the player got past him and he was he, he, yeah it's not good. So apparently kick going in here. Look, Paul KR. Could be straight down the middle. There's not a much angle on it. Yep. Nice. Another two points. Uh, it's, it's madness, Northern Coins. It's absolute madness. You know, as I said, that is one good thing Rugby Union has done. It's cracked down on things like head, head to shoulder, head to head contact and high tackles because it's dangerous. You know, we're, people are seeing the, the, the signs now of, of these sort of head injuries and neck injuries and they've got to stamp down on it. You know, was it last last Six Nations, for example, they really, really cracked down on, on those sort of high tackles and whatnot. And this year's Six Nations, we ha we didn't really see any at all. So th that's one, you know, I appreciate rugby league is very, very physical. I get that. But you've got to take the danger out of it. You know, you shouldn't be playing a sport where you're risking s those sort of injuries with your head. It's not good. Well, 14 nil. Just over 10 minutes left of the first half, and this is one way traffic, isn't it? It is absolute one way traffic. Um, Hull FC have not have had one potential attack which could have led to something, but they've made mistakes from from the good kick from Hull Cow where he decided to stop it with his foot uh, to slips and slides to clumsy challenges. Hull FC have been nowhere really, have they? Uh, and KR have dominated. Gareth says, hate to say it, but till the Australian influence on the rules is removed, nothing will change. Are you saying, so are you saying, Gareth, that the Aussies have too much influence on the laws of the game? And they are basically the ones that when they decide to change things, that's when the UK follows or Super League follows. Uh, just so this one now and then Sydney... Sydney game versus Port tomorrow. I think that's all I've got on. Oh. This, we're just camped. Hey, and to, to say this, Gareth, let's be honest, old uh, NRL's got nothing on Super League, is it? The old Saints went over went went over to Australia and showed them who's boss, didn't they? <laughs> Shame Saints aren't doing that well this year in the actual league. Right, we've got a restart. All six tackles to try and get something here. Sidey, don't say things like that. Who's dropped it? Giving the ball away, Hull get it back. Oh, 
Four men. Four men making a tackle. We're physically abusing them. Well, may, may, maybe Nanya, maybe the um, that club championship match has just taken it out on them. That has ruined their ch ch chances this year. To be fair, I think f for Super League, we really could do with a different team winning this year. I don't think it's healthy for Saints to be winning it every year. So maybe it'll be a good thing if they don't, if they keep messing up. Let me have a look at the table at the moment, anyway. Yeah, Warrington are doing very well, actually, aren't they? Oh, Adam Hills will be happy with that. But Warrington doing very, very well. The annoying thing is Saints Saints haven't been doing that well, but they're still fourth. <laughs> that's, a, that's the annoying thing. They haven't been that great. Oh, I'm getting cold. I need to put my jumper on. Put my jumper on. It's cold. Also, next week, well, as we've got some sun, I really need to cut the grass because the grass has got very long all of a sudden. Uh, yellow card for Hulk KR. So he gets a yellow card for a dangerous tackle and the other guy doesn't. That makes sense. Annoyingly, I, I wandered off as I saw that. Is this now an opportunity for Hull to now get something out of this game? A 10 minute Simbin. Are they going to now be able to get something from this? <laughs> Who knows? Oh. Uh oh. It's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. And now it is getting feisty. It is getting feisty. Scott Taylor's getting involved against his former team. Hardly a great example to all the children in the stadium that I can see. Hardly a great example, is it? Oh, fisty cuffs and handbags. Mm. It was, yeah, it was a stupid, stupid late tackle to take him. They were trying to take him down, but he wasn't going anywhere, was he? Nine was the first. Parcel was the first to get his get his arm and arm and forearm in there, though. This is not good. This could be a. This could be a costly mistake. This is not nice. Oh, penalty only. That's lucky. That's lucky. The afters could have... Um, That was not nice, was it? That was not nice. 
given a dangerous tackle penalty, that could have been a moment where, where KR really cost themselves and caused themselves problems. Naughty, naughty. I think he's probably a bit lucky there. It certainly does spice things up a little bit if that's the lines they're going down. Six minutes left. Hull FC about five minutes out. Ball's gone to KR. They are ecstatic. Weathered, they've weathered that little storm there, I think, KR have. Weathered the storm. We've really just got to get to half time now, I think. If we can get to half time. Yeah. KR are. Uh, you know, if we can get to half time, I think that's got to be the priority at the moment. Celebrating like they've won the game. I, I actually quite like that. I, I like that sort of mentality. This is the derby, yeah? This is the game that is... Yeah. See, this is the difference, as they're talking about now in the commentary. This is the thing. This is a city where you've got two teams. This sort type of derby is is better than any others normally, um, other than South, Southampton versus Portsmouth, obviously. But when it is one city, you get families that are divided. When it is, is like Manchester United versus Liverpool, it's not quite the same. Yes, I appreciate there's the rivalry and, you know, they all hate each other, but you don't have things like divided families like you do in the whole derby, um, the Manchester derby, for example. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm assuming they think that went forwards. Four minutes left to the first half. Good game so far. Thoroughly enjoying this game. It's rough and ready, as they say. Just love those meaty tackles. The, the, the fair challenges, but the meaty tackles. You've got to love them. Got to love them. Well, look, if Hull FC were going to have a chance of scoring, this is their best chance. It's certainly their best chance with, with KR one man down. But KR just giving no space at all. Defensively, we're absolutely solid. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, there's another one. Celtic and Rangers. Yeah, what a huge derby that is. There's just nothing like a derby, is there? Oh, tap and kicked away. Soccer it, soccer it away, as they say. Down under. Hi, Toby. Hello, mate. Hello, my namesake. They even now look to Hull Car, even with one man down, are defending so well. Just kicked it away. Just awesome defending. Position are going to get the ball to people. Why? Why, Bill? You, you asked me the question there. You think? Well, 
We're going to be defending near our own line anyway, so on the kick, we'll take a 50 50 chance we get it. So just got to improve the kick. Well, it's a golden opportunity as half time approaches for Hull FC to find a way back into this game. No, no, still can't get through. Parcel who made the tackle. Dwyer. Dwyer might fancy it himself, he does, but surely they know what's coming with Brad Dwyer. We've seen him do that so many times in his previous incarnations with Leeds and with Warrington. Scott Taylor will try. No, <laughs> still can't get through. Oh, what's going on with the stream? Why is the stream stopped all of a sudden? Why is the stream gone funny? Let's redo that. All right, sorted. The black and white team, another chance to attack with 30 seconds left of this first half. It has been mayhem at times. It was plain sailing for Hull KR early on as they took the lead and built up a 14 0 lead. This, this second quarter has been absolute chaos, hasn't it? Players simbined, injured, swift hobbling. Start the season, the first game here against Casper from a scrum. This situation here. about 20 seconds left at the moment. I don't think Hull are going to score from this. Uh, they really Hull have shown no, no potential of scoring apart from one earlier on. Uh, the the KR defence has been so good. It's been really, really good. And there's the siren. What a good half. What a good half. Even when Hull, Hull have been pressing, the, the KR defence has been fantastic. Really, really strong defence. And that is half time. Um, I'm going to turn the sound down so I don't get the adverts and things. Uh, so let me know what you thought of the first half. Are you enjoying it? Uh, is this your first time watching Super League? That's the question. Uh, right, Mister. Our biggest football derby is Melbourne victory versus Melbourne City. They just finished the game after it was abandoned because of the fans. Was that was that what recently? Was that some? Was that the um? That wasn't to do with the moaning about it going to Sydney, the final going to Sydney or something like that, was it? I don't know. What a good game. Uh, 59 votes in, by the way. 59 votes in. 59% of people are going Hull KR as well. So very much um, Hull KR is the opinion on people's minds here. And they are displaying. A, a, they are showing. They're showing what they've got. They're showing what they've got. Bloody AJ. I don't even know who she is. <laughs> Sidey, you're not impressed by the game. What 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 are you not impressed about out of interest? What are you not impressed about?
What? Northern Coins. Man, that's... Don't rub it in, mate. Saints do well against the big teams. It's normally the, the crap the crap teams around us that we struggle against. Saints... Are, look, Saints... What do we beat? No, we drew against Man United. We beat Chelsea. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if... I, we're staying up. I have faith. I do not want to experience the Major League Baseball. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one, uh, Ryan Mister. Yeah, 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 I commented on it, didn't I? Hull FC have, been, have not been playing well recently, have they? They've really having a shocking season. Um, to put it bluntly. Out of interest, has anyone been watching Ted Lasso? I started watching it and I sort of binged it. And now I'm really annoyed because they only release them once a week. Which is really depressing. <laughs> Nanya, Nanya, no mate, no mate. Um, Saints will be staying up. I have faith, all right? I have faith. Yeah, I've, but Sidey, that so. My my opinion on an NRL is they are all the same. All the players are the sort of the same physicality, the same size, same speed, and therefore it is literally crash, crash, crash. There's no change in style of play. Um, and I find Super League is more exciting than NRL. I've said it. I have said it. Sorry. But it's just because you get the difference in styles, which makes a more interesting game. Uh, and having the having this as a as a whole derby adds that little extra element as well. In my opinion, anyway. In my opinion, my opinion means nothing, obviously. Uh, I am Southampton. I am Southampton fan for my sins. Um, I don't know what I'd done to deserve it, but no, I am Southampton sitting rock bottom of the league, losing to bloody West Ham. Oh, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. We've still got a chance. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm glad, yeah, um, I'm glad you agree, Ryan Mister. at least I'm glad someone agrees with me in the, in that, that, it, like you said, yeah, it's, I think that's a good word, it's too structured, in, in, in Super League, where you've got the differences in size, speed and whatnot, you, you get that variety, um, you do get the variety, and it's true to say that it doesn't matter what size you are, you can fit in a Super League team. And when I first started this channel, I was looking at players like Rob Burrows and whatnot, who um, who Rob Burrows was a short, short guy, but rapid. Um, and obviously, sadly, suffering badly with motor neurons disease, but that's what you get. But in NRL, they're all the same size, all the same speed, all the same strength. And it's just immovable force versus irresistible irresistible force whatever you call it whatever the saying is um charlie's at work charlie's at work uh she's got saturday sunday and monday off but she is at work today okay i'm gonna take a wee break uh top up my drink and i will be back in a minute
That clip. I have returned. I have returned. Oh, everyone talks about me while I'm while I'm not there. <laughs> I think his socks. I assume you mean shoes. Uh, are bad. I think he should have AF ones rather than dunks in the background. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Uh, I like my Jordan ones. I do like it. I may have some more that I've ordered as well. Uh, yeah. What's they look like Jordan ones? Charlie's are the ones. Charlie's are the these ones. The the bottom right. Um. Yeah. I, I said, I may have some more on the way. Because I've got a bit of a problem now. Where's my dog? That's the stuff you can use when you have to run all about. Just trust me. Follow every step. You'll end up in that bar. Trust me. The GPS tracker is checking itself. Okay, word one. Yeah, they're Jordan 1s. Uh, I've got one, two, three are high tops and two are mids. I know, I am so cool. I am the coolest person I know. <laughs> Just can't help it. Bum, 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 bum. Dad, okay, seriously, the best you can break is no cash. Here, look up from the 
Uh, yeah. Hey, it's because I've got cool ones, Sidey. Mine are cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I've seen that is, um, that's coming out in the cinema. I thought, yeah, I will go and watch that one. Uh, yeah. The, the funny thing is, um, the funny thing is, I have never purchased trainers at a high price before. I purchased um, some World Cup football boots when I first started working and they were the most uncomfortable things I've ever worn. Um, but I started wearing skinny jeans and basically the orthopedics said I should get high top trainers so I can wear, um, so it's easier for me to wear heel raisers because I've got bad Achilles. And so I got the the ones, those top ones, the red, uh, the pink and yellowy ones. Where is it? Hang on. Hands going, should be about there. I'm following it. Anyway, um, the top right ones, I got them first. My mum got them for Christmas for me, basically just to be able to support my feet a little bit better. And, um, and then I got obsessed. It was like getting a tattoo. You can't help getting more. Uh, <laughs> Oh, what? Sidey, what? I, okay, I wouldn't pay that much, buddy. I would never pay much that much. That is a lot of money. Like a lot of money. Let's turn the sound back on. And have taken into the dressing rooms at half time a healthy 14 nil lead. James Basel, of course, spent 10 minutes in the... Surely we can't mess this lead up. ...interaction between himself and Jake Clifford, which saw Jake Clifford taken from the... Oh, well, oh, uh, the thing is, I really like them because I think my clothing is a little bit boring sometimes. I will wear, you know, skinny jeans and a t-shirt and a jumper or whatever, and my, my clothing doesn't really change. So what having those has allowed me to do is just add a little bit of colour and a little bit of it, you know, a bit more interest in my clothing. <laughs> and obviously where I've got all the different colours. Um, Charlie's just bought some and she's bought the the dunks, which are the low ones. She's bought plain white and I'm thinking that's just boring. And then one that's black with a little bit of purple in. Um, I've just ordered some, some yellow and blue ones. <laughs> Uh, and the black and red. But they certainly, Nanya, you're right. They've certainly done um, a great job of selling them and making them as a as a sort of a premium product. No doubt. Mystifying succession of fitness tests. Jamie Shaw put through his faces, paces, then Jake Clifford. And you thought, just who is going to be on the field? Well, Hull Cow are ready to go. Half resumes. Well, Clifford will not. Jamie Shaw is. How fit he is, we do not know. This is not the situation you want to be in. Well, we know, we know he's struggled what is going on? in the last couple of weeks. And that had probably delayed his his comeback into this whole FC side. And it no. Improve, is it? No, no, no. I just think it's boring. I just, I said, I, I like Sidey. I like the fact that they just make, I said, make my outfit a little bit more interesting. It is as the second half gets underway through the boot of uh, Jordan Abdul. And that's a, a tantalising kick as well. It's Josh Griffin has to wait. I don't know what's up with. Uh... To arrive in his hands. And at the same time, Sam Woodenco arrived. The yes, it's not stuttering now at least, so that's a positive. I think the quality is 
fixed. Uh, the, the, the picture and audio, there is no more stuttering. They must have got on it in half time. Sure, I said, surely KR can't give this 14 0 lead away. We, uh, we've, I said, we've absolutely dominated in attack and defence. We've still got the sin bin for another couple of minutes, I think, though. Big kick. Easy catch. Changes, Bill. There, so Jamie Shaw is really struggling for mobility. He's he's reverted to the wing. As a, you know, an awful yeah, the game's back on. Once again, uh, if you haven't got access, the game is showing live in the Discord server. So join the Discord server and you can watch the game live in there. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Knocked on, knocked on. Almost, almost stole it, Coop. Almost stole it. Hell FC weren't even trying to get the ball. You're trying to gain ground when the opponents have it. You're trying to contain them. And obviously that battle in the first half was won by the shirts in red. Okay, uh, in control of the question the is, are Hull going to do anything okay. different? Are they going to produce any sort of magic to try and get through the Hull KR defence? I don't think so. I'm Hull KR, yeah, 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 I'm Hull KR. He's complaining here, isn't he? That as he stands up to play the ball, there's interference, there's a player stood in the place. But the referee... Yeah, I, I can't see KR losing this. Oh, I said even with one less even with one less player even with one less player we're still dominating the the sim the sim bin's done now and that was just clumsy frustrating for Hull FC unforced errors I think you call them not in tennis I think they've made several in the first half they have to eradicate those to have a chance and they have to be next to score, but you can't score when you've not got the ball, so they need to show greater appetite here now with the tackling. Come on, drive, drive, drive. They suffered three straight, straight defeats a short time ago, but they're back on track, and that's not back on track. Ooh, just, just poor reactions there for the pass. Hull FC get the ball back. Ah, uh, yeah, you're probably right, Sidey. We could probably lose another couple and uh, still be okay. You would be desperate to get the message on to to the Robins because they're moving away from that not conservative but methodical approach, high completion rates, and this is starting to creep into the game now. The commentators are not very positive towards Hull KR at the start of this second half. Well, not in, I would like to think it's over already, but you know, as they say, fat lady sings and all that. Um, you gotta be, gotta be careful. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. Big tackles coming in. I just oh. oh see you don't want to see that you don't need to see that you don't need to see the head on head like that to be honest oh it's definitely going to heat up. It's, it's been fairly heated already, uh, but it's definitely going to heat up even more. I think we've still got to do more. Yeah, yeah. You, I said it's been it's been a heated game already. We unlucky. <laughs> Mistakes being made by Hull again. Oh, knocked on, knocked on. We'll have that. Mistakes. Hull FC. This is this this is not the first mistake they've made, right? And we'll see if KR can capitalise on it because we have done so far. So hopefully we will do it again. Yes! We've capitalised again. Hull FC make a mistake and we've capitalised again. Get in there. Get in. Pissed all over him. Let's just say, pissed all over him. Making this look easy. I have no idea, mate. I have no idea. Uh, no, I, I really don't know, mate. I really don't know, Ryan Mister. I don't know if there's a certain amount of foreign players we can have or not. I'm probably not the best to answer that one. But it's 18-0. Hull KR. And Coop make it four out of four. Converts this and twenty nil. It's starting to disappear into the distance for the black and whites. Easy. Easy. He's had some really, really well positioned kicks to have to take though, to be fair, uh, to his teammates that have scored the tries. But this is easy. 20 nil Hull KR. Uh, they are going to definitely have the bragging rights today, right? Bragging rights are all theirs. Hull is going to be red. 
contend with him, possibly push him all the way for that prize as the individually best player in the uh, Super League competition. And we've still got half an hour to go. That's the funny thing. We've still got half an hour to go. This is ridiculous. It would... It's 20 nil. Hull, Hull have literally had one potential scoring opportunity, uh, and it's 20 nil with half an hour still to go. It's yeah, uh, it's not looking good for for Hull FC. Not looking good at all. Go 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 go! He's got it. He's oh! oh get in! What a run! There is no no video replay needed for that. Easy. Oh, what a try. I, I love tries like that. I absolutely love those inception tries. Oh. Who gets himself on the try? And he gets to take a conversion. He is going to be quids in on the old points. Look at this. What a run. Off you go. The old touch judge struggling to keep up. <sighs> this is going well. 24-0. At this rate, it should be a whitewash, right? It should be a whitewash. And Coot, clearly, he is a player that has history of being with good teams. Three times winner with Saints. Uh, something with the Cowboys there as well. Looking good. And Coot make it five out of five. Come on, Coop. Make it five out of five. With a boot this afternoon to convert his own try lock from Coop. You've got two tries. In you go. Five out of five for Coop. With a try as well. 26 nil. Ouch if you're a Hull fan. Unbelievable. So I tell you, it was fa it's fantastic um, awareness as well. Fantastic awareness uh, from the players offloading. Fantastic play. Yeah, I bet Duga. I a Dugu. I think that makes sense, Rymeister, um, having a minimum of, uh, having a maximum of five foreign players. You get that in a lot of leagues in different sports. The whole idea is to make sure you've got, um, you're developing your own country's players and having a space for them and basically forcing clubs to have to play English players. Oh my God, we've got the ball back and we are flying at the moment. Still two tackles remaining. One tackle remaining, we're a, we're a few metres out. In the corner, he is down. Ryan Hall. He's just going for the... Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought he, fa thought he found a space to get through, but he didn't. 26-0. Oh, my word. A bit of a battering. A bit. I think it's more than a bit of a battering, isn't it? Not just today, but 
Okay, I have been good this season. They're certainly bigging us, bigging us up in the in the um, in the commentary today, aren't they? Really bigging us up. Yeah, yeah, I know a lot of uh, we we. I think uh, I, we have we have some foreign rules in 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 the Premier League and things, but it's not uh, it's not that stringent at all. But there are lots of leagues, lots of leagues, and I know this because I play on Football Manager. Um, and when you play Football Manager, you notice some of the leagues. You like some leagues, you can only have like two, one or two foreign players, and it's like, well, Jesus. Um, Trying to find good players in your own country can be a little bit difficult. So sometimes it works to develop players in your own country and sometimes it doesn't. It just stifles the sport in the country. I'm Robbins till I die. I love the singing. I love the singing. It's like football. Oh! Soccer it. Soccer it. All the way. Keep kicking. Keep kicking. Run. Hang on. Doorbell. Into his hands, and you could all you could almost picture the celebrations, wouldn't you? Running towards that Robin's end. I missed it. I missed it. He was footballing it all the way, and then the doorbell went for Lena's dog food. What a nightmare! What a nightmare! <sighs> also, it's quite cold in my house today. One way traffic. Hull Chaos Scrum. Go, go, go. Oh, yes. Two on one. Oh, yes. Oh, another one. Oh, oh, oh. This must be agonising and, and painful if you're an FC fan. Oh, my word. It's got to be a try. On the field is a try. Got to be a try. What play. And spreading it wide as well. Spreading it wide. That's fantastic. Try. All day long. All day long. Oh. Easy. Easy. I, I cannot see Hull getting off the scoreboard here. I think this is going to be a, a whitewash, a clean sheet for for, for KR. Ooh, try! Get in! Oh, easy. 30 nil. Oh. Can Coop make it six out of six? That's the question. If he can, it'd be fantastic. Look, we look fantastic. Look incredible. Oh. Sidey, yeah, the game is over. The game is done. Hull have just done nothing they've left gaps they've they've made mistakes those hull fans must be depressed this is basically how i felt in the the sydney versus cats grand final very depressed <laughs> come on six out of six six out of six come on Two tries to 
This is the widest one that he's had so far. Whoa, it's five out of six. That one was a bit wide. He didn't miss by a lot, though. Uh, stays at 30 nil. 30 nil. Oh, this is the type of result you want over your, your rivals, right? <laughs> and the ball goes straight back to Hull KR. Oh, he's gone short. Just crazy. Absolutely crazy. If I was if I was the uh, the whole manager here, I'd be giving them a right bollock in at, at the end of the game. They would be in deep deep shit. And again, look at this running again. Oh, oh, it's sublime. Oh, oh my word! You've got all the Hull Fs at Hull KR fans behind that try line. Another incredible run. Lewis, my man. Oh, sensational. 34-0. Let's make it 6 out of 7 for Coot. Look at this. They're so flat-footed, Hull are. Great teamwork as well uh, by KR. Sorry, Hull FC are flat-footed. Um, incredible teamwork by KR here. Look at this. They're, they're keeping up with each other. They're working together. Hey, hey, new Falconer. As, as KR, the team that I'm supporting, I am more than happy with this result. More than happy with this result. Sometimes nail, sometimes nail biters are great, but when it's your team, you do secretly want them to smash the other team. And actually, it's not even a secret. Right, come on, Coop. Six out of seven now. This is this is a better angle for you. Bang. Yes, yeah, six out of seven. 36 nil. Annoyingly, uh, my prediction for the score, I did 12. I think that is... Yeah, I underestimated KR on this one, I think. Hey, there's no reason why. <laughs> Look at that kid. <laughs> that kid is loving it. Uh, there's no reason why we can't get to the grand final. Why not? Well, have been awful. Uh, we've got just under 19 minutes left of the second half. Uh, Hull have been awful. Just dreadful. Sorry if you're a Hull fan, but they've been awful. The, the song the song that is being sing is Hull FC are going down. They're going down, they're going down, they're going. Wigan against St Helens. The champions are in town and Wigan will be looking That is the next game. I will not be watching it because I've got things to do today, but the Wigan Saints game is next. Here is Brad Bash. This will be hurting for the black and whites. Well, other than Jake Clifford going very close and maybe early in the first half, I can't think of one other case. Are they going to get off? Are they going to... They might score... No. I was going to say they might score here, but no. They don't even look like they're going to score. They've got no momentum at all. When they get possession, they can't keep possession. 
they haven't got the same support around them like KR are giving each other. I don't think they're going to go over the line. Here's Chris Satai. They've hardly touched the ball in the second half of the Hull FC. It seems. Here is Dwyer. Are they going to get anything? Swift. The ball bouncing into his hands eventually. Defend, defend, defend. Get men behind the ball, KR. Let's keep it to zero. Sit down, sit down, Satai. Um, Google is your friend, Rhyme Easter. Google is your friend on that one. They're certainly trying. Hull FC are trying and they're fairly close, but just get men behind the ball. Get men behind the ball. No. They just can't break through the Robins, can they? They just can't break through us. One way traffic. What a performance. There's <laughs> nothing else I can really say. But what a performance. Just, we're dominating. And Hull do have another six. Uh, make that five now. And they are meters out of our try line. Can we keep them away? Can we keep them away? That's the question. This would be good if we get them away. If we can keep this to a whitewash, just under 15 minutes left. They're pushing it back. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. No. No. They've still got last tackle. Hull have got one more tackle. They're trying to overload on that right side. No. Well done, Coot. Yes, buddy. Coot's played really well. Most of the, the KR players have played really well, to be fair. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, it'll be uh, a red and white weekend, won't it? Play the, the World Club champions next on the back of beating Leeds, on the back of winning here by 30 plus points. We don't know what it's going to end up exactly here. 13 minutes left on the clock. Last meeting, it was 36 4 to Hull uh, KR. Are we going to get a repeat this afternoon? Can Hull FC at least oh. get points on the board? Because it can be a tough weekend for. Black and white supporters. It's definitely a rough weekend, isn't it? It's definitely a rough weekend for these guys. They, the, the red and white are going to have a lovely Easter. They've just got nothing. They've got absolutely nothing. Rip it out of his hands. Dean Hadley with the tackle on him. 
and McNamara kicking high and kicking <laughs> straight into the arms. Of Easy. Ball. Easy. I don't know if it would have made a massive difference, but Clifford's absence has been another factor. He did at least appear to have some idea of how to unlock this Robbins defence. Yeah, well, when you've got you've got no link man, essentially, you've got Ben McNamara who's the only ball player on the field, only recognised ball player on the field. I know you've got Liam Sutcliffe in that position, but it, it, it really limits your options, and it also puts a target on your back as the only ball player. Hulk, I know where, where uh, Hull F, uh, Hulk, I know where that Hull FC ball is going. Here's Hadley, here's Abdul. Mikey Lewis over the top to uh, Ryan Hall, who just rushes outside the first challenge. Lewis. Dean Hadley now. Once of Hull FC. Made 87 appearances for the club, and McIntosh had to wait for that ball. And Litton was arriving at the same time. That's great. Eleven, just under 11 minutes left. Back into the in goal area for the 36 lead. Building some good habits and they're dragging him over the side. See you later, Sidey. Now the ball's been released inside and Hulk are in possession. Come on, we want more. We want more. Still four tackles left. KR 10 metres out ish. Twice as much energy in defence as you do in attack. Start that again. You can see the frustration now. Kane Evans with another late shot. Think about it. Yeah, these are frustrating times for Hull FC fans. But this is a, a team that's out on its feet at the moment, out of its feet and out of ideas. Kane, leave that out. Come on. I think, just looking at Ian Proctor's comprehensive history of this uh, derby fixture, there has only been one previous Super League nilling in meetings between these two 10 teams. minutes As play is I said oh a, a whitewash here would be a, a real statement wouldn't it it'd be a real statement I think that's what that's what KR have got to be aiming for just look the scores the score and the, and the result is done it's just rubbing it in now isn't it it's really rubbing it in Mm. I think that's forward, isn't it? Definitely, yeah, they went forward. Well, Rymister, you can look at you can look at, for example, the the World Club Championship match. Um, how well, how well Saint Saints did defensively in that game. You know, they were brilliant defensively against the Aussies to be fair so you can certainly look at it that way well later on the season next week when they welcome the champions so and that will be a completely different kettle of fish nine minutes remaining eight minutes left in this contest contest is that the right word in the second half <laughs> is contest a real is the right word probably not Sometimes go downward in a spiral, and I think they have done that as this second half's gone on. Perhaps understandably. You asked before about the loss of Jake Clifford. Of course, he's the best, he's the most important attacking player. But even when he was on the game at the start of the match, they were the second best side then. Well, if you're doing the, the amount of defence they're doing because they can't control possession, you, you're absolutely burning through the energy reserves, and that, you know, that, that's how you end up with you know six or seven minutes to go, and, and you've been oh. defending your line for most of the second half. Let's restart. Flings the ball out. With, uh, uh, KR are constantly on the verge here of scoring again. You know, they're just always on the edge here, aren't they? There's always a possibility of scoring another one. And he's, oh, if he didn't slip, he probably would have made it through. Still three tackles remaining. KR on the edge. Go on, overlap. Oh, again, Paul. Whoa, slice through. 
That literally was sliced through, wasn't it? Ryan Hall. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. 40 nil. Hopefully, I'll make it 42 in a second. Unbelievable. I do. <laughs> it's, this has been painful if you're a Hull fan, right? A real painful result. Um, no one wants your team to be performing like this. Hull have just been gutless. That's probably the best way of putting it. They've been gutless. Uh, and KR have, have been brilliant. You know, KR have been brilliant. Oh, hello. Hello, ladies. Results like this. Look, when you've got a derby day, results like this are so good for the winning team. It, this this will make your weekend if you're a KR fan, and to the, you know to be beaten F, uh, to be beaten Hull. Look at the fans, the Hull fans. They look they they look emotionless at the moment. To be fair, I said even even when even when when Hull KR were a man down, Hull still did nothing. Honestly, Hull still did nothing. That that was probably their best chance to to get back into the game, and and they were awful. They were absolutely awful. If I said yeah, I, I probably would have walked out as well. To be fair, if I was a Hull fan, this is not the sort of thing you want to see. Embarrassing, really. Five minutes remaining. They still want more. They still want more. Defending his flank and not allowing Woods room to roam. Here's Jordan Abdul Suasso Su. He will have enjoyed his first taste of the whole derby. Hull FC have got to dust themselves down and face a. Up, 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 up. Go, 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 go. Oh! Making it look easy. On the fifth tackle, we caught it, but unlucky who's held up there. Robbins. How long's left? Just, well... There is about two and a half minutes, three and a half minutes left, sorry. Mm. This should be a whitewash, right? It should be a whitewash. Three minutes left. McNamara once more. McIntosh again. Side to side. As Liam Sutcliffe plays the ball. Lingy Sal. Nope. What the heck? That kick has gone backwards. Aimlessly, really. Oh, it looked like he couldn't care less. That is literally what he looks like. He could not care less. Uh, that is not good. 
Not good at all. Discomfort and pain. Oh, you're right. This guy's loving every second of it now. His confidence grows as each game goes past. I think when you think to Hulk KR for the last week we saw him play against Leeds here, we've seen them. I think one of the things they simply do is prevent their opponents from gaining ground, making, making metres and the tackling, their interest, the, the discipline of the line moving forward. I think that's been a fundamental. We talked about Jordan Abdul's kicks. But if you can't control your opponents and you don't defend well enough, well, that's not enough, is it? And I think Hulk KR have developed a brilliant habit if you're defending better. Willie Peters will enjoy this, his first whole derby. And what a way to uh, to be marking that occasion. I would be, I'm, I've said this already, but I'd be so upset if I was a whole fan. It remains 40 points to nil. Yeah, they've got Leeds away next, Hull. Then they've got Huddersfield at home, and then Wigan. It's a tough run. And you wonder Hi, Corey. Hey, buddy. Leeds could do it last year. Then it's there to be done, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, a double. I am happy. I am not too depressed. One minute, less than one minute to go. The referee brings him back for the knock-on. Touches you off on the side, and they've got other problems here now for Tony Smith. As he looks on, Ben McNamara has just been down, being treated by a physio. So, shortage of players who in, the, in the back line could be an issue. Willie Peters, arms folded just next to him there. He kind of dreamt of having an involvement in a better opening derby game than he's had here. Uh, Corey, this is Rugby League. Yeah, English Rugby League. Well, the Hulk FC supporters. I do, if, look, the... I know, I know Hull FC have been awful, so I don't think you can use this match as a sort of a... You can't use this match as a sort of a benchmark for anything. Um, but we have been playing well this year. We've had a, we had a weird upset, I think, against Lee, wasn't it? But, you know, there's no reason why we can't get into the grand final. And that is the match. Game over. It was a whitewash. 40-0 to Hull KR. Um... I'm busy. I've got to do, well, I've got to do loads of stuff, loads of housework and things today. Guys, everyone that joined me, thank you so much. Honestly, I, I truly appreciate. We haven't done, haven't done many rugby league games for a while, so thank you so much. Um, yeah, we have been good. So fingers crossed for Hull KR. I'm going to shoot. Thank you, guys. It's privileged to have you guys with us. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'm done. I've got to head off. 